Hey guys, welcome to our King's Academy Kickboxing Online Instruction. Today we're going to go through our three basic kicks in Muay Thai. So the first kick is what we refer to as our push kick. Some places call it a front kick, you'll hear the term T. And for some of them it's also referred to as a foot jab. They're all variations of our push kick. It's the straight line kick that comes forward. The next kick we will work is our side kick, another straight line kick, but again where we turn our body sideways. You don't see a lot of side kicks, they are more the building ground for later on when you start doing spinning kicks, and the spinning side kick is much more common in Muay Thai than your traditional side kick is, but you need the fundamentals to be able to perform that. The last kick will be our round kick. For the round kick, we're going to do two different versions. We'll do a lead leg version and a rear leg version. With our push and side kick, they're both the same regardless of rear or lead leg. The only difference will be our footwork. So when I'm in my stance, if I kick with my rear leg, I always step first with my leg. If I kick, kick with my lead leg, I always step first with my rear. So that's the only difference that you'll have when kicking with our straight line kicks. So the first kick we're going to do is our lead leg push kick. So again, I'm in my stand, shoulder width, knees bent, hand on my chin, here. I'm going to kick with my lead leg, so I'm going to take a little shuffle step forward. As I do, I'm going to lift my knee, and I'm going to kick my foot out, bring it back, and then return. Okay? I don't want to kick and fall forward, because I may fall into a counter attack. So again, I step up, knee up, kick out, back down, and return. Now, when you're learning, the height could be anywhere from knee level. As you get more experience, you can start kicking higher as well. Uh, what I do with my foot will depend on the target. So I have the option of going straight, flat foot if I'm stopping someone. Ball on my foot if I want to penetrate, or the heel if I'm looking for a solid target. A lot of times I use my heel when I'm coming up underneath the chin. So again, step, knee up, kick, and return. With our side kick, it's a little bit more difficult because I need to be sideways. So when I do my lead leg, I will step, come up, knee up, kick. When I do my rear leg, I'm going to turn around, bring my leg up, and then kick out. Later on, as you become more balanced, you will bring the foot straight to the knee. <coughs> For our beginners, we want to ensure that we are well balanced before kicking. So again, my fighting stance, we're going to do our rear leg today. So I'm going to step up so my leg is in front of my lead leg. My foot comes to my chin, I keep my hands up. I'm going to come up on the balls of my feet so I can pivot the bottom foot. And then as I drive out here, come down, and then return. So that is our basic side kick. With our round kick, we have two versions. The lead leg, where we don't spin, and generally I'm looking at targets to the inside of the leg, the body, or even the head, but it's a much shorter and sharper kick. And then our rear leg, where a lot of times I'm following through, where I'm <coughs> normally looking to the outside of the leg, the body, or the head. So our lead leg first, I come into my stance, again I do a little stuff, shuffle step, I kick up at 45, and I return. So you'll see here, as I kick with my lead leg, my leg hand will come down, my other hand's on my chin, and then it returns back. For the rear leg round kick, again, I step with my lead leg, I want to come up on the ball of my foot, I'm going to lift myself up, as I do, my knee will come up, I kick through, and I spin around, and then I shuffle back. Step, lift the knee, pivot, come back, return. So that is our three basic kicks for Muay Thai, push kick, side kick, and round kick. Thank you guys.